Good day, viewers. Today, we embark on a journey into the fascinating world of neoclassicism, a literary movement that emerged in late 17th and early 18th century English literature. Neoclassicism sought to revive and uphold the principles of classical antiquity, particularly those of ancient Greece and Rome, in response to the excesses of the preceding Baroque period. The preceding era was characterized by indulgence, complex ornamentation, and a focus on emotions. Neoclassical literature, on the other hand, emphasized reason, order, and the imitation of classical models. Join me as we delve into the key features and examples of neoclassical literature. The features of neoclassicism are Moral and didactic themes Emphasis on reason and logic Imitation of classical models Use of heroic couplets Classical allusions and mythology Satire and social critique Clarity and precision Formal and controlled emotions Appreciation for nature and simplicity Influence of the Enlightenment Moral and Didactic Themes Our first stop in this literary exploration is the emphasis on moral and didactic themes. Neoclassical writers believed in the power of literature to educate and improve society. Drawing inspiration from classical texts, they often conveyed ethical and philosophical lessons. The works of the time frequently featured protagonists who faced moral dilemmas and learned valuable lessons. Take, for instance, Alexander Pope's essay on man, which explores the concept of human happiness and the moral order of the universe, imparting philosophical and ethical insights to the reader. Emphasis on reason and logic. Next, we encounter the neoclassical emphasis on reason and logic. Writers of this era valued rationality as the foundation of their works, aiming to control and balance emotions. This emphasis on rationality was a response to the passionate and turbulent literary expressions of the previous era. In John Dryden's An Essay of Dramatic Poesy, he argues for the importance of reason in drama, contrasting it with the irrational and chaotic elements of the theater. Imitation of Classical Models Moving on, neoclassical writers often sought to emulate the classical works of ancient Greece and Rome. They admired the clarity simplicity, and structure of classical literature and attempted to recreate these qualities in their writing. The works of Homer, Virgil, and Horace served as important models for neoclassical poets. John Milton's Paradise Lost is a prime example, drawing heavily from classical epic poetry, particularly the works of Virgil and Homer. Use of Heroic Couplets a distinctive feature of neoclassical poetry was the use of heroic couplets, which consist of rhymed pairs of lines in iambic pentameter. This form of verse provided a structured and balanced framework for expressing ideas and arguments. This structured form of verse, exemplified in Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Lock, provided a balanced framework for expressing ideas and arguments. It is written in heroic couplets, and exemplifies the neoclassical style, employing this meter to satirize the trivial social issue of a lock of hair. Classical Illusions and Mythology Neoclassical literature frequently incorporated references to classical mythology and history. Authors used these allusions to add depth and layers of meaning to their works, often drawing on ancient tales and figures to convey modern ideas and moral lessons. Samuel Johnson's The Vanity of Human Wishes seamlessly weaves classical references throughout the poem to illustrate the timeless and universal nature of human desires. Satire and Social Critique Satire emerges as a powerful tool for neoclassical writers to critique society. They employed satire as a means of critiquing society, often with a focus on exposing human follies, vices, and absurdities. Satire was a powerful tool for conveying moral lessons through humor and irony. 
Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travel stands as a masterful example, using satire to expose human follies, vices, and absurdities with wit and irony. It criticizes various aspects of human society, such as politics, science, and human nature, revealing the flaws and inconsistencies in each. Clarity and Precision Neoclassical literature prioritized clarity and precision of expression. Authors sought to convey their ideas with economy and lucidity, avoiding ornate language and complex metaphors. Joseph Addison's essays in The Spectator serve as an excellent illustration, communicating moral and ethical ideas with simplicity and grace, formal and controlled emotions. In contrast to the Baroque period, neoclassical literature aimed to control and limit emotional expression. Writers believed that emotions should be depicted in a restrained and balanced manner to maintain rationality and decorum. Alexander Pope's elegy to the memory of an unfortunate lady explores grief and mourning in a controlled and formal style, reflecting the neoclassical approach to emotional subjects, appreciation for nature and simplicity. Celebrating the beauty and order of nature Neoclassical literature often portrayed it in a harmonious and restrained manner. This appreciation for nature was in line with classical ideals of balance and simplicity. Alexander Pope's Windsor Forest is a pastoral poem that explores the peaceful and ordered beauty of nature, adhering to neoclassical principles of restraint and balance. Influence of the Enlightenment Lastly, we explore the influence of the Enlightenment on neoclassicism. It was a period marked by the celebration of reason, science, and intellectual progress. Neoclassical writers often engaged with Enlightenment ideas and values in their works, promoting a rational and enlightened worldview. Writers like Joseph Addison and Richard Steele in The Spectator engaged with Enlightenment ideas, discussing topics related to reason, education, and societal progress. In conclusion, Neoclassicism played a significant role in shaping the literary landscape of its time, restoring classical values of reason, morality, and clarity to literary expression. Writers of this era were deeply influenced by the classical world and aimed to emulate its ideals in their works. They used literature as a means of moral and intellectual education, promoting rationality and control in contrast to the excesses of the previous Baroque period. Neoclassicism played a significant role in shaping the literary landscape of its time and left a lasting legacy in English literature. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the nuances of neoclassicism. Until next time, happy reading!